What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Nightfall rewards for this week on all three of my characters. So this week's Nightfall was the Fallen Saber Strike and this time there was Arc Burn on it and there was also Exposure once again. I think those two modifiers made this one a little bit difficult because I think Exposure is one of the most difficult modifiers to deal with in a Nightfall now. So with the Arc Burn it made it a lot more difficult especially in the beginning when you're trying to defend the Warsat. It was the Taken version this time in the beginning. So all the Taken captains are shooting their Arc Shrapnel launchers at you. Even that black ball of blinding stuff that they shoot at you was dealing Arc damage when I died to it. So I don't know how that deals Arc damage, but apparently it has Arc burn on it as well. So pretty difficult in the very beginning, but once you get past that part, it's definitely a lot easier toward the end of the strike. So... Not too bad overall, but going into my rewards, they weren't the greatest this week, but next week, according to their weekly update, we're going to get better Nightfall rewards according to the latest update that came out on Thursday. Uh, so hopefully, since the Nightfalls are pretty difficult, we're going to get rewarded a little bit better and possibly get some 310 exotics more often or just get higher values in attack value guns or higher defense value armor pieces or something like that so hopefully you get better stuff going into next week and from then on and then the nightfalls won't be too bad just because they're pretty difficult for the rewards that we're given uh, as of right now so that's something we can look forward to next week but going into my rewards for this week starting off on my hunter we were able to pick up a legendary auto rifle called Questing Beast. I actually never seen this one before until I got it this week. And my two teammates end up getting a deal breaker auto rifle and my other teammate picks up a 310 Hawk Moon. So pretty lucky for him. The other two were kind of mediocre rewards in my opinion. At least I got a couple strange coins out of it. That's always good. And then going into my next character on my Titan... We were able to pick up, once again, another Questing Beast Auto Rifle. So I got pretty unlucky once again. It did have a higher attack value on it, but to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to use this gun ever. So I might just dismantle it for some marks or maybe use it to infuse something higher up. Uh, but my two teammates also got some pretty poor rewards. We got two more Legendaries, an Armor Piece, and an Auto Rifle once again. So not very good rewards on that set of three. And going into my last character on my Warlock, we end up getting 10 Strange Coins and my two teammates pick up a Legendary Hand Cannon and a Legendary Pair of Gauntlets. So I think this one was probably my best reward of the week, just getting Strange Coins because once again I can always use it for Xur, picking up some Engrams or buying a piece of gear or just getting some 3 of Coins so I can farm some Engrams. So yeah, so that's about it for this week. Looking forward to better awards for next week. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.